Hello everyone, I'm Dreamax and I'm here to present you my project for the Flight Fest Community Contest, the Russian Barkov D Fighter. So for those who don't know um, what it is, Flight Fest, it's a festival a reuniting a, a big community of people flying foam board airplanes. <laughs> So you can make your own airplane for uh, about three bucks Canadian. <laughs> and the idea of the Flight Fest Community Contest is to it, it to make airplane about a subject, to build it, to make uh, to talk about the the airplane, and then to go to the festival and show everyone what your project is about. The, last year the project was about uh, flying. A pylon racing from the 1920s, it was a very narrow field of uh, design, but this year um, the design contest is about uh, obscure prototype and make uh, makeover planes that were conceived in World War II but did not take part in any fight. So that's why I'm choosing the bulk of the fighter because it's a paper plane, it's never been built before. Um, when I was to Flight Fest uh, this year in Flight Fest West, I brought with me a giant a TB3 plane. It's a 114 uh, scale uh, Russian bomber that I made up out of foam board. And that's uh, after full flight, when he actually fly well for once. Um, I met Rocky Boy. Uh. Yeah. He brought me to the Flight Fest Community Contest. And when he told me about the, f uh, the designs of making a World War II obscure prototype, I already know that it was this airplane I would be making. I already had the idea in the end just to have this weird design in my hands. So what is that plane? It's a fighter designed around the 1940s to 1941. 
it was supposed to be one of the best fighters the Russian will be put in the air, will be putting in the air. Um, it got a giant propeller in the back with a, a 2000 horsepower engine in the back. And if it was not enough, uh, in any case, you uh, need to get out of trouble. The, the two booms leading to the tail were ram jets. It was kind of an early design of jet engine, a mix between the jet engine and rockets. I'm not too sure about that. but So you had the giant motors with the giant prop in the back to go in pretty fast, but if you needed to go faster to get out of trouble, you had the, the ramjet for a limited amount of time to get out of the way. It's kind of hard to bail out for the airplane and get struck by the big giant popular in the back. So they include in the design uh, ejectable seat for the pilot, even though the Russian were not likely to didn't care too much about the lives of their pilots but in this case they, the engineer at least tell uh, was thinking about their pilots their pilots to get them out of trouble and since you got the space you got no prop in the propeller in the front you had four cannons in the front two 20 millimeters uh, big cannons at automatic cannons and then two 37 cannons to rip apart uh, bombers, airplanes, tanks even and since it had a very large wingspan and a lot of air air lifting yeah, it could ca easily carry uh, bombs, rockets and stuff uh, just like any Russian airplanes because on any Russian airplanes they were putting everything they had on it whatever the size so <laughs> Uh, the sad thing about this airplane is that it never been built, it's just a uh, pepper design and that's for a couple of reasons. First there was uh, the German invasion of uh, Russia in 1941. It's kind of held up everything in terms of design and technology. And then before that there had been, there, there have been the, the, the Stalin purge that kind of uh, squeeze up every thing in the field of new design and strange weird uh, ideas so most of the engineer was kind of slowing down to meet the demands without too much uh, crazy ideas and stuff so it was kind of a bad time for for them at least in the in, in Russia in Russia so about this model, uh, this thing I built is kind of a, it just make up, a mo mock up to uh, to see if the design was was flyable. Uh, I made the, the booms that were supposed to be round, square, and same thing for the fuselage, just to make it simpler and easy to build. Mm. It's give the foam board a nice strength to the booms because that was the my most concern about the foam board round booms is that it may be too soft and easy to break. So the square ones for the uh, uh, proof of concept is was good enough. Uh, the wing is a little bit thicker than it's supposed to. I wanted it to be strong enough to hold up uh, any G fighter. In any case, it would be uh, um, easy to break because of the gull wing design. And that's about it. I just make few small details and I did some glide tests to figure out the CGs. Then put the so uh, uh, roll, put the motors inside and get it to fly, and it was a pretty amazing flight. It's nimble, smooth. It's fly uh, floating in the air like anything I ever flew and anything I ever built. 
it's uh, it's pretty amazing how uh, simple the controls are and smooth and like everybody say it's it was on track and I got some video footage from that and for the video footage I want to thank uh, my friend Jurgen Walter um, it's a nice gentleman who for its retirement just need search for uh, good reasons to fly his drone it's his passion he likes to do it every every possible time he can so I made it up on the internet first and then we meet up to fly this thing out in the air and the video footage is pretty amazing. I will leave the link to the video of Jurgen down in the description below um, just so you can see the entire uh, flying footage of it. Um, so if you want, if you care, you can leave a like for him. It's a very nice gentleman and a very I'm very thankful for him to took the time to fly with me and so there will be a version 2 of that thing with my rounded uh, fuselage I already made some tests but it's kind of get uh, uh, creepy so uh, but thanks to the community uh, participating in the flight test community contest I already got some big good ideas on how to make uh, the fuselage look a lot better than that and I even got some ideas for the booms because those are important but um, thanks to Joshua Fins with the rocket tubing, tubing it happened to have a perfect size for the booms on my airplanes and then I got, just got recently a 3D printer to make the nozzle from the ramjet and the back end of it too so that would be a nice upgrade to the looking of the airplanes with a nice round scale fuselage and booms and everything would look a lot much better and even though it, right now it's kind of the winter I will be putting skis on the version 2 to make it fly but you can be sure that on this summer when we will be at flight fest I will be putting some gears on it I just need to figure out with the angles of the wing how the gear will kind of seat up in the wing so I just got a few things to figure out so as of that uh, I will see you around um, on the next video about the second version of this and if not uh, maybe at flight fest this summer flight fest west thank you very much and that was my first version of the Borokov D-Fighter at 110 scale.